on? I think so. All right, as some of y'all come on in here and we get ready to find some Juliet's for the next season of my show, Finding My Romeo, um, I'm gonna get some things together. As you can see right now, some of y'all probably wondering what this is. And this is actually a Omnipod. So if you have type one diabetes, type two diabetes, this is actually what my daughter uses to um, get her insulin. So you can see there's a needle right there that we have to um, shoot into my daughter every few days. And this actually keeps my daughter alive. So she has to get stuck with this every few days. And um, thankfully for those creators, people who are type one or type two have a little bit of a easier life. And then she also wears a Dexcom and that actually tells us her blood sugar levels, which we're checking that every single minute. So this is my daughter's stuff, but let me clean up real quick so we can get started. Yeah. Oh, and if you know all my type ones out there, y'all know what this is. This is the best of the best. So if you wear band-aids every day, use this. But let me finish these daddy duties and I'll be right back. Oh, and some of y'all are probably wondering, why am I wearing this Omnipod? I don't have a type one diabetes, but my daughter is a little child. So it makes her day 10 times better when she see her dad going through the same thing that she's going through. So when she's finished, I reuse hers, she clean it off and we stick the needle in my arm and I rock out and wear it every day with her. dishwasher all right look how many people we got in here because y'all know what's about to go down right now if you don't know i'm officially your host romeo miller of the new hit show finding my romeo on in the black network and on merge tv network so uh today i'm here trying to find Juliet, you know for the next season I'm trying to see, you know, who's going to be on my show on the island or wherever we're going to be with me next season. You feel me? But let me read something real quick while we still got people loading on here because it's the only way I start my day off, baby. So y'all going to listen to this, all right? One of my favorite books, if you know me, I always read this when I'm on live. But identification, know who you are. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the good shepherd. I am God's son. Christ knew who he was. The first principle of handling stress in your life is this. Know who you are. It is the principle of identification. Jesus said, I know who I am. I testify for myself. This is critically important in stress management because if you don't know who you are, someone else may try to tell you who they think that you are. If you don't know who you are, you will subconsciously let other people manipulate you and pressure you into believing you are somebody you aren't. I think that's it. One or two of y'all maybe needed to hear that. So most importantly, know who you are. You're going to have a less stressful life. It's definitely one of my gems of life. That's why y'all never seen me getting into a lot of trouble um, in the industry. I've been in the industry since I was 10 years old, you know, uh, 34 this year. And I'm not perfect, but I always knew who I was. So when you know who you are, you're not going to follow the crowd. You're not going to go get into stupid stuff. Now, you're going to make some mistakes in life, you know, but take accountability, learn from it, and don't repeat it. And if you know who you are, you know, um, that'll help. I see y'all asking what book that is. So I'm gonna put it right there for you. Bam. All right, let's get to it. Ladies and gents, because I got work to do. You know, I'm in the middle of editing a movie right now. So dad got to go get to work while the baby's sleeping. But we're gonna have a little fun. All right, I'm gonna talk to some of y'all. 
You know, y'all always say, you always come on here saying you're bad with social media and all of this. I don't know how to do the little acceptance thing, so y'all may need to help me out. So I'm going to try to talk to a few of y'all, and we're going to talk to some young ladies out there and try to help them find love or just come be on season two of Finding My Romeo. You're going to learn something. Even if you don't find love, you're going to learn something on my show. All right? I'll be right back. I'm about to get it popping. Okay, let's do it. All right, let me see what y'all saying. Are you the bachelor for your new show? <laughs> um, is that a trick question? I'm not. <laughs> I'm the host though, I'll be there. I see we got New Orleans in the building, the hometown. All right, so let's just, I'm about to just start accepting some of y'all and we about to just get down to it. I got some questions that I want some answers to and I want to see if we could find potentially some of our new Juliets for season two of Finding My Romeo. So let's see, I think I go right here. We're going to have fun too. I never did this before. So I'm just about to connect with y'all and you about to see how it goes. Request to join. I'm about to just. Mm -mm. Did I do it right? I don't even know if I did it right. All right, let's see. Let's hit somebody else. I don't know if. Oh, wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I think we got some, somebody. <laughs> What's going on? Not. I can't see you. What's going on with your service? Oh, I don't get that. You didn't. You didn't think I was gonna pick you, huh? <laughs> Where she went, y'all? Hold on. She just fled on me. That's crazy. Come on, we about to find somebody. We about to find somebody. Shardy flat on me. That's crazy. Okay. I'm going to remember that. Wait, I, how many people I got on here? Not me talking to Romeo. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? I need you to introduce yourself because you are officially on my live. I got to say my real name. I mean, whatever you want to do, you know, if you got something going on where you don't want people to know your name, do what you got to do. Mm, my name's Nishism. <laughs> and why are you on my live? Are you actually looking for love or are you just here to come chill and talk? Um, I'm just a, a I don't know, just scrolling. I'm not looking for love. I have a boyfriend, <laughs> but I... <laughs> you're on the wrong I live right now. I didn't answer. That's, so you're not on here to find your Romeo? No. I have my Romeo. <laughs> That's good. All right, so look, before we go, though, because they got some people in there who want to find that Romeo, what would you say is, like, that determined factor of knowing you found your person? Oh, that was deep, Romeo. Oh, my gosh. I could spit some of your lyrics more than I can think of the answer <laughs> to that question right now. <laughs> All right, look, I'm going to give you an easy one. I'll give you an easy one. Describe your perfect date. Oh, um, my perfect date don't even have to be expensive. Just something thoughtful that I love, that he know I like to do and enjoy. You, um, a real one. Date so you want about like what what the person actually likes. So you know, taking that something time. Thoughtful. Out. Something thoughtful. I like that. Look. Yeah. I appreciate you, but look, you don't got no problems <laughs> with finding your Romeo. So we about to go find somebody who need to find their Romeo. But Good have a blessed the next day. One. And uh, make sure you tap in. Did you watch the show yet? Nope. No, I don't watch the show. <laughs> See? You better go watch it. It's on In the Black Network, Merge TV, all the info on my Instagram. Check it out. It's, it's a fun okay. watch. You could binge it in one day. Will right. do. For blessings. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Bye. All right. I don't know how to do this, so you're going to have to press exit, all right? And then I'm going to go try to find somebody else. Okay. All right.
let me see. So I think I just scroll right here. All right, I just clicked somebody else. I think this person is looking for love. We about to see. Oh, Hi. we got somebody. Hello, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Kamia Imani. I am 28 years old. I'm from California. Just graduated from the Neighborhood Playhouse Theater Conservatory in New York and just moved back to LA. Okay. And I also went to Columbia Journalism School as well. Hold on a second. So let me get down to it. Are you looking for love? Do you need a love doctor? Absolutely. I've always wanted true love. I'm an only child and I want to find like my partner who's like a best friend and we value respect and love grows. I believe that love grows from respect. It's one of my biggest values. This is a Amazing, because I have my whole Finding My Romeo team on here. I wanted to do something fun, come on live, talk to everybody on here, and genuinely find some good women to be on my next season of Finding My Romeo. So before we get into all of that, I just got to ask you, why are you single? <laughs> you just read off one of the best resumes ever. Why are you single? Well, I would say that so I'm, I'm a very studious person. So I went to UC Berkeley. I ran track and field there. And then um, then I did my master's at Columbia Journalism School and then went for my passion in performing arts and theater. So I felt that I really wanted to focus on my education first so that, you know, when I go for my creative dreams and passions, I can be an inspiration to like my future children and all younger girls that like, you can do both. You can have beauty and brains and- Wow. And that's amazing. You know, I love to hear that because even on my show, it's not just about finding your person. It's about finding yourself. And when you guys watch my show, you'll see it's not like those other dating shows where we're forcing you to be with somebody. And I love what you just said because one of my biggest gems and what I tell people is if you can't love yourself first, you're not going to be able to love somebody else. And you are the type of woman that I need on my show, okay? Because I want you to find love. I want you to find your person. And we just need people to see good people out there who want to do it the right way, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. I love that. Um, I love the energy. And yeah. thank you for being so genuine and, and kind. And yeah. I appreciate the thoughtful words. And I would love to be a part of your show. <laughs> Hold on, guys. It's going with that. This, I think this is only the what? This is the first. It's only been the first 10 minutes. I think we may have found one of the future Juliets. Although I don't think you're going to be single for too much longer after this live. But I'm having my team reach out to you. It was such a pleasure meeting you. And we'll be in touch. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Absolutely, Romeo. Do you have my contact or what oh, do you need from me? We will find you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, give us your Instagram note right here so my team, they can make sure they write it. Okay, it's just Kamiya, so at okay. just Kamiya, and my name is Kamiya Imani. All right, Kamiya Imani, so we got you locked in. Have a blessed day, and you are literally shining over there. Thank okay. you so much. It's really nice out here in running spring, so. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we'll be in touch. Okay. Right, you got the exit, though, because I don't know how to do all of that, you know. Okay, you know I know I'm you. terrible with all this social media. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Peace. Somebody just said your team won't be the only one in her DMs. Oh my good fellas. This is not the oh my. I mean, he has a point. Seems like a good catch right there. Smart, athletic. What doesn't the woman do? All right, let's click somebody else. Let's see. How do I do this? All right, let's go right here. Think this is Jacqueline? Hey, hey, uh, 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 uh. Wow. Hey, uh, not me making it in. Jacqueline, you <laughs> better be here for love, Shardy. Okay. If you here for anything else, I gotta ask you right now. I'm here. I'm ready. Tag me in. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we have another possible Juliet. Jacqueline, first tell us your full name or whatever name you want to give us, your age and where you're from. My name is Jacqueline, and I actually just turned 35 last month. I know. Happy birth, so you a cancer. Gemini. Oh, you, oh, 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 hold on. 
Oh no, was that an earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Jack. <laughs> You're a Gemini. I am. Oh. Okay, you Gemini's have a love hate thing with you. I'm just saying it's more love, but you know, tell me about yourself, Miss Gemini. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm single and I'm tired of being single. I feel like I want to be in a serious relationship. I want to get married. I'm a single mom. Like, I feel like my daughter deserves to see me in a happy, healthy relationship. And, you know, like, she really looks up to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, first off, I got to give a round of applause to the moms out there. Everybody, round of applause. You know, me being a father now, I have just this new respect, you know, for for women, you know, women who um are out there parenting and especially the single moms doing it alone. It's not easy to raise a child. You know, we were always taught the men go provide and that's the hardest job. Let me tell you, I love my kids, right? But their mom have the harder job of being that caretaker and that nurturer. Going out there and working hard, that's easy. That's second nature. So I want to take my hat off to you, applaud you and all the other moms out there. Thank because, you. Because um, it's, the, it's the hardest job in the world. And we need great moms. So guess what? I have a soft spot for moms. So you officially going to be on the next season regardless. I don't care what nobody say. I don't even need my team to come through and bet you or nothing. We don't even care if you're a serial killer. I don't care, you know. We're going to help you find love regardless. But I got some questions to ask you. Okay. So I always ask these simple questions first. I asked one of the young ladies on here who wasn't looking for love. But tell, tell me what would be your perfect date? I'm really big on, like, the thoughtfulness like someone doing something that you know they may have heard me mention like i want to know that you actually have listened to things that i've said and then you kind of bring them to life yeah i also like i also don't mind being surprised i just i'm a hopeless romantic so so yeah well, you like the surprise element and we got another one who likes the thoughtfulness so we have a great trend going on because at the end of the day it's not always about the money it's not always yeah. about you know what uh, those material things if you're really trying to find love in your person you want somebody who truly knows you who truly cares about you so thoughtfulness mixed up with a little bit of excitement and that's all yep. you okay so then I, I gotta ask you what's three unique things about yourself hmm I know a lot of random facts, like when it comes to pop culture, for like no reason. Oh, really? <laughs> random facts. Well, do you know a random fact that we don't actually spin around the sun, but the sun spins around us? Did I even say that I right? Somebody Google it. Like that. It's something yeah. like that. Somebody Google it. Give me a random fact that you know. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Hey, life's different when you put on the spot. You see what the celebrities be dealing with out there? That's all I'm saying. When you put on the spot, your mind just go blank. I'm Literally, telling you, it happens. Literally, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you ever go to somebody's concert and you see they forget their lyrics? It sometimes happens when you just put on the spot. That's just life. You see somebody, they're doing an interview, and you ask them the simplest question. You're like, what is Shardy on? But it's like, it happens. Yeah. You know? So welcome to your first day of being a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna ask you an easier one. So, how okay. long have you been living a single life? It's been about almost two years. Two years. And how long has your longest relationship been? Mm -hmm. I'd say on and <laughs> off for like five years. On and off, five years. Okay. And why was it five 